Hello friends, welcome in OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and today I am going to demonstrate you how to use SQL Developer with Oracle 12c <coughs> on Windows 7 platform. So friends, <coughs> don't worry about that to installation uh, installing the Oracle SQL Developer tool because Oracle SQL Developer tool is automatically inbuilt on Oracle 12c setup. So just uh, you should have to install the Oracle 12c setup. If you don't know about that, how to install the Oracle 12c setup, you just watch my previous video. In my previous video, I already explained you how to install the Oracle 12c step by step. Just watch this video and then do this one. So when you install the Oracle 12c on your Windows platform, after that, you just go in your, just click on your start button and just going to all program and the all program have one option is oracle folder is there so in the oracle folder <coughs> have the application development tool one more sub folder is there so just click on application development tool it's already contain the sql developer tool so just right click this and make a shortcut on your desktop just right click and send it to on desktop so your developer is on your desktop so just double click on your sql developer tool yes okay your sql developer is ready just close this one okay after that we have need to make a connection with your database so for making new connections just click on this one okay but before before making a connection you should active your pluggable database okay so just click on your and just log in with your database and check which pluggable database is running or not so select name open more from regular pdbs that's it okay it will show your all databases which is running right now so we have one pluggable database which is name is a pdb or cl which is also in the mode of read write mode okay if you don't know how to <clears throat> how to open your pluggable database you just watch my previous video for that okay so let's see come on the developer tool and just make a new connection just click on the database connection and just click ok now <clears throat> type a connection name you can give here any name okay suppose i'm giving here a ocp and the username which user you want to connect with that okay i'm going to default user with a scott user okay then type the password if you want to save this one connections and with the password just click on the save password and this is a basic connections just uh, <clears throat> click on the service name and type the service name which is you <clears throat> which is we configure the for the tns service name so just my tns service name also is a pdb or cl so just test your connection click on the test button so you can see here the test so your connection is successful then click on the connect then you can see you are you will you connected with the scott user show user you can see you connected with the scott user okay so you can write here your all queries you can work with your database and you also can view your all tables just click on the plus button here so it will show all the history of your database here which is connected with the scott user okay so this is the this is for a sub user and if you want to connect with an admin user just click on the new connection i'm going to with the admin users make a new connections so click on the database type your connection name suppose i'm going to write here admin <clears throat> your admin username and password so you should have to know the about the admin user which is the sys user oh, and you type the password for this which is you set when you install your database then save your password okay and uh, type the role of this sysdba and type here system name uh, service name you just click on the basic button and just select the tns and uh, <clears throat> which is select your service name my service name is a pdb or cl and test your connection you can see your text connection is test then connect now you are also connected with the sys user show user so user is sys you can see here 
okay you got this video very informatic so please like this and uh, share this and don't forget to subscribe my channel love you all bye bye